Sodium Cold Fast Reactor, or SFR, is expected to meet the challenges of tomorrow regarding the good use of natural resources and the management of the most rather toxic nuclides in the long term. Nowadays, there is still no SFR design chosen to be commissioned in the long term in France. So, it is a good time to think our way to design reactor core and to try to improve it. Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Tyrell. I'm currently working at CEA as a research engineer and I will present you my PhD work about the coupling of reactor design and fuel cycle analysis, which aims to be an original methodology for fast reactor design. That sounds great! Would you care to elaborate? Of course, my fellow sidekick. There are three stages. The first one is a definition of fleet objectives. This one is highly political, since it involves the country's strategy. Basically, deciders, with the help of experts, will choose the target installed power and the type of resource management they want. For example, are we talking about an open cycle, a closed cycle, something else, etc. These objectives are then translated into core performances, which are used as guidelines by the core designers. Core designer will choose the, the core power, the core geometry, etc. in order to maximize the performances while respecting uh, safety requirements. At the end of this phase, a numerical model is generated and used in fuel cycle analysis within scenario calculations. A scenario is a dynamic simulation of possible evolution of a nuclear fleet. It represents every material flows, which means it represents uh, the extraction of natural resources, the fresh fuel fabrication, the irradiation of the fuel inside the reactor, and the spent fuel management. The scenario is a great tool to try to figure out and discuss what are the possible ways to commission our targeted fleet. It seems quite logical until now. Ah, it sure is, but there is a little issue. Uncertainties. Uncertainties? Yes, because fleet objectives are strongly depending on political choices that can change over time, the expected performances of our core could also change over time, meaning that we should rethink the whole reactor core design each time there is a political change. For example, one day we are aiming to increase the installed power with the commissioning of a large SFR cores, and the next day we would rather commission a smaller fleet with small SFR cores. This kind of brutal changes that come from politics are quite difficult to handle with the current methodology. But how are you supposed to deal with these uncertainties? My methodology could bring an answer to this problem. I built flexible SFR models that allow me to drive some macroscopic core parameters such as power, volume, irradiation time, so that I am able to represent a wide range of SFR cores. It's a bit like having a Play-Doh SFR that I'm able to use within scenario calculations. So basically, I can create a lot of different scenarios with a lot of different objectives and I'm trying to shape my SFR so that it is relevant in most cases. In other words, I am able to find some design trends that are robust in front of uncertainties. So in the end, by coupling reactor design and scenario calculations, I am able to shape my reactor for any kind of scenarios.